Hi, I'm Tanda Matanda, a venture capital professional and the co-founder and CEO of Musa, an AI-driven venture assessment platform that looks to drive equity and in investments by leveling out the playing field for women and minority investors and eradicating the common bottlenecks that occur in the investment screening process. Now, investing in women is a human rights issue. That's the clear statement uh, made by the United Nations this year when they declared the theme for International Women's Day, invest in women. So pivotal is the need for equitable access to resources in our pursuit to end poverty and to empower women that of all the things that are impeding women's rights, they chose this one. They have asked us at an individual and collective level and as nations to focus our attention on how to better drive investments to female-owned businesses. With the endless amount of data showing that women-owned businesses not only provide better financial performance, but require less resources, in particular capital, to reach the same level of success as their male counterparts, the inefficiency in the equitable dispersion of funding is not just detrimental to women, it's impeding global financial performance. It's this inefficiency, you know, it's the reason why Morgan Stanley estimates that $4 trillion is missed annually due to underinvestment in women and minority founders, and that's in the US alone. So this is not just a human rights imperative. This is no, beyond a moral responsibility. Investors as a whole, and we as investors have a fiduciary responsibility to find the best opportunities and make sure that we create equitable and inclusive processes to invest in those businesses and you know, eradicate those bottlenecks that mean that women founders and minority founders are not getting the access to the capital that they need. Um, thank you.